I'm Dr. Matthew Baker. I'm one of the cardiologists here at Bryant Hart, and I'm from North Platte, Nebraska. The decision to become a cardiologist uh, was uh, something that started early on in my life. My uh, grandfather died of a heart attack when he was 39, and I've had uh, an uncle die of a heart attack in his 40s. I can remember writing a uh, paper on the first heart transplant when I was a fourth grader. Choosing Brian Hart was a very easy decision for me. Um, I'd been all over the country uh, for parts of my training and there's simply no place in the country that tops Brian in terms of quality of patient care and the quality of life that Lincoln affords myself and my family. One of the things that I do along with general cardiology is that I'm the medical director of the mechanical heart program and using one of the newest uh, devices to do the work of the heart. Cardiology is a very exciting field. Things progress rapidly and it's very important to stay on the forefront of technology. One of the things that I enjoy the most about cardiology is uh, the opportunity to take care of some of the sickest of the sick and also to meet people um, early in their lives and have a chance to develop relationships and take care of them throughout their life. I might come to work and see a patient uh, who walks into the emergency room with a life-threatening heart attack and then in the afternoon I might go back to clinic and see somebody that I've been seeing for a decade and talk to them about their cholesterol and, and uh, help them with their blood pressure. Heart disease is uh, something that can strike people of all ages. One particular story that comes to mind is a uh, local college student who had for his entire life always had problems keeping up with his peers only by sitting and listening to him talk about some of the specific instances where he'd had problems uh, led us to diagnose a congenital heart problem that we were able to uh, get corrected before it became something that was permanent and uh, terminal. I think the most important thing for patients to know is that they have to be comfortable with their physician. They have to be comfortable enough to tell them intimate details about their life they have to be comfortable enough to trust that what they're doing is the best thing for the patient. That's what we focus on around here is educating and empowering patients, making them feel comfortable, uh, telling us what's wrong, telling us how they're feeling so that we can best help them.